Hey guys, welcome back. With Final Fantasy XII becoming more and more popular amongst the Final Fantasy community, and given the fact that the game is now on all platforms, there has been a shocking amount of new players being introduced to the game for the first time. Given how expansive the world of Final Fantasy XII is, saying that traversing the vast visual landscapes and even down to the grinding aspects as being an arduous chore would be the understatement of the century. So with new players jumping right into uncharted territory, I thought I would bring you a quick video that could make your playthrough a little bit more bearing to say the least. But first, some context. When Final Fantasy XII released back in 2006 for the PlayStation 2, I think we could all agree that whenever we went anywhere on foot, it became more of a chore rather than an enjoyment, and that the only real means of moving around Ivalice quickly enough was through the methods of teleport crystals and orange gate crystals, and that's if you found them and activated them. Then you had the use of Balthier's airship, the Straw, which could only be accessed at the aerodrome or certain points throughout Ivalice, and that was only accessible after the events of Gudevagen. Then you had one of the more popular forms of transportation within Ivalice, which was the Sky Ferry, which sadly only transported you from city to city. And lastly, you had the use of Chocobos, which allowed you to roam the open areas between locations, but unfortunately had some setbacks due to timed usage, a limited boost, and restrictive access to towns in certain locations. Not to mention, if you ran out of time, you were left walking the rest of the way to wherever you were initially going. Given how tedious this was, the Zodiac Age was changed to accommodate this problem by giving players the ability to speed up the game in order to grind easier, and move across the areas at a faster rate. However, some may have not have been aware of a quick and simple trick that would have saved them countless moments of constantly going back and forth into the configuration menu to change the speed to fit their desired and current playstyle. So now with that covered, let's get down into the details. Now, I am sure you guys know that you can change the speed of the game to two times as well as changing the speed to four times. And what it is, that's pretty much what I've been doing throughout my playthroughs, is going into the configuration menu and scrolling down to the speed multiplier and changing the speed to fit the current situation. Once that was done, I would exit the menu and then I would run around testing the movement speed to see how I felt about it, realizing that, well, the current multiplier was either probably a little too fast or not fast enough for me, so every time I wanted to change the speed, this would be the method that I would do, to which I'm sure a lot of you have been doing the same thing as well. Well, if you look up into the top right corner, you can see the speed counter to which I have set to two times normal speed. Now, as you can see, I set it to four times normal speed. Back to two times, and then down to normal speed and so on. So, in order to do this, depending on what system you are playing on, and whether this be for the PS4 or the PS5, you hold the L1 button, which is what you would normally use to activate and deactivate the current equipped speed multiplier, but while holding that button, use the left and right directional pads to adjust the in-game speed as you can see here. Now with this, this also applies very similar to that of the Xbox as well. You just hold the left bumper and use the left and right directional pads to switch between the speeds that you want. Now, when it comes to the switch, it's honestly no different. Simply hold the L button and cycle through the left and right directional pads on the left Joy-Con to set your speed. And see, it's that simple. Hopefully throughout your playthroughs, this will help you and make things a lot easier. It's things like this that makes it all the difference, and if the game simply doesn't explain it to you, well, hopefully luckily enough that you would stumble across it. And so, there you have it guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've already knew about this, and well if you didn't. I know I've been away for a few years now, and to be honest, I do apologize for that. So for those who have stuck around, thank you so much. And as for a return, if you have any requests in regards to videos that you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments down below. I do have some videos that I'm still working on, and so hopefully those can kind of help get me back into the groove to finishing them up as well. And I'm kind of hoping that you guys will stick around to see them. But with that, I wanted to thank you all, and I do appreciate everything. I know years back you guys told me that I should take care of myself and while I did take a lot of this time to kind of do a lot of self-reflecting and to get myself back into what I've wanted to do for a while. But here I am and I'm ready to get back to it guys. And so again, thank you. But with that, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Trust me, I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.